Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to go through how to secure your content, so secure your videos um, via the theme. So we have a plugin as well that you can use to secure your content um, via DRM and AWS, um, but we're going to show you how to do it with the theme. You don't need the plugins with the theme, obviously it's all built in. Um, but first off, go ahead, download, go to Firefox, um, it's a browser, and go to browser extensions and find the video download helper extension. So go ahead, open it up in Firefox, install it. Um, whatever you're using, Vimeo, YouTube, go to your page, refresh the page um, and you'll see an icon in the top right hand side and you should see that you can just click that icon, um, select download and then you just people will just be able to download your videos. Okay, There's no security really with YouTube or Vimeo, it's just simply really easy to download. Okay, So that's not the case if you want to be doing premium content. So what we're going to do is we're going to just upload a new video here okay and what we're going to do is we're going to be using the new encoding process so we're in our storage bucket and we're going to go ahead and open up our encoder okay so our encoder has many different options we can add captions audio descriptions we're going to leave pretty much everything um, default uh, let's add a watermark just to show you that you can definitely add watermarks um, which is just adds an extra, extra level of security if you would want that so let's see. So you can just search for um, wherever you stored your watermark PNG or you can simply paste in the URL. But what we need to do is we're going to select our template, we're going to be using HLS, scroll down and you can see we need to add our proxy URL. Okay, So where do we get this in the theme? This is the main thing we want to show you in this video tutorial. Simply go to appearance, customizer, Okay, and you'll see that there's a DRM proxy security URL. Okay, So you need to take this URL, copy and paste, head back over okay and then paste that in and then we can just go through all the other settings so we're going to be pushing it to our delivery bucket with our CloudFront distribution and we'll just use a random ID okay and click create okay so that's going off and it's now encoding our video so this is probably going to take a while because it's 160 meg file so I'm just going to pause this video while that happens Okay, great. So as you can see, our recording, um, sorry, our encoding process is now completed. So we're just going to go ahead and take this player code, um, go back to our theme. We're not changing anything in the customizer. We just copied the URL. Let's go to movies, and I'm just going to edit this movie here. Okay, just update it with the new video code. So um, where do we want to go? We want to go down. Oh. Let's go down to the main video here. Search for our code. You should see it picks up our code straight away. Okay, now if we run a refresh, what we can see is we've got our video playing. You can see our watermarks being added. And now you can test this video against the video download helper extension. And you'll see that when you try to download it, you'll just get two um, red markers that say it can't download the video. Okay. So that's a way to secure your video. Um, if you're selling premium content, obviously you want to keep it secure. Um, so I hope this helps. And any questions, just drop a comment in this under this video on YouTube.